Welcome back everyone, this is Trap. I'm gonna go over some things I've been doing since my first video on blazingly fast startup times. You notice my startup time right now is 16.51 milliseconds. That's clearly faster than what I was doing the first time around. I will review the strategy and techniques that I use to maintain a super fast startup time. First thing is to minimize the number of plugins that are actually being loaded when you start NeoVim. So in my case, the bare minimum is 10 plugins, so I get that really nice startup time. The other, one of the things you can use to assist you in understanding your startup time is on the profile page. Notice you can do that, Control S. It's, it's order, it reorders the plugins, giving you the chronological order and the time taken to get that plugin loaded. So you can look for plugins that take a long time to load, figure out, do you actually need that plugin loaded every time you start NeoVim? In my case, I don't need comp loaded, so we're gonna look at, at comp. We'll look for NVim comp. I don't need that plugin loaded. Anything to do with completion is not needed until I'm in a buffer actually entering text. Navigation, I don't need it. I only need it when I'm doing inserting text. Some plugins like command line completion, maybe I want that loaded when I go into the command mode. Right now, I'm focused only on insert mode. So if I look at these plugins, they're all gonna be tied to NVim comp. And when insert enter occurs, all plugins get loaded. So let's take a quick look at that and see what that looks like in real time. So we just are going to load up a Lua file. We'll load up the init Lua file. We've already got telescope loaded, so we're gonna stop right there. And we're gonna just get out of telescope and we're gonna go back and look at our profile. We've got 29 plugins loaded. Notice that NVim comp was actually loaded and I did not go into a buffer other than a telescope buffer, but because I was entering text, I was able to use completion from within telescope. That was a nice win. So I went from 10 plugins to 29 plugins. Now, if we go back and continue the experiment and we go back to the init Lua, what we're gonna see is now I have more plugins loaded. At this point, I've gone up to 56 plugins. So each time I add something, I get more plugins and I get the behavior that I need at that particular time. So if I don't need a plugin loaded, I've tried to avoid loading a plugin. And the way I went about doing that was I used the events. So I'll give you an example. We will take a look at the completion file and notice on NVim comp here on line 18, the event that I'm using is insert enter. Lazy does a really nice job at documenting the different kind of events and core commands that you can use to actually cause a plugin to load. So for example, if we look at my explorers, we're gonna find that NeoTree, which is the explorer that I'm using right now when I press the control N, we're gonna see that that particular tree, it gets loaded when the NeoTree command runs, which I can run either doing, the, I can use the control N key or I could have typed in Neo tree. I could have done it this way, that I would have gotten the same behavior. The plugin would have been loaded, but it is happening so quickly that it doesn't interfere. There's no latency when I'm typing, which is what I was looking for. But I'm able to maintain that really fast startup time by studying what happens to my startup when I load a plugin I can start to change the events that the plugins start. I can check the dependencies between plugin A and plugin B, and I can use the combination of those techniques and strategies to maintain these really fast startup times. And I'm at 57 plugins right now, and my system is working very well for me. If I completely get out of NeoVim and go right back in, and I go back to that startup page, I'm right back to a really decent startup time of 16.81 milliseconds with the expected 10 plugins loaded. My name is Trap. Thank you for watching this video on Blazingly Startup Times with LazyBim. I hope you got something out of it. Please press the like button and subscribe. Give me some feedback to help me improve this content. My name is Trap. I'm out. May God bless you.